Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So before we get started, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel. The 10 best Robert De Niro movies ranked. So make sure to watch the full video. If one were to sit down and count the iconic movies that Robert De Niro has attached to his name, they'd run out of fingers. Few actors are as lucky to have had the run he's had in Hollywood, and even fewer have so many iconic roles under their belts that it's a challenge to whittle down the 10 best movies of their career. With that said, we think we have a pretty solid grasp on the best of Robert De Niro and have run through the greatest films he's been a part of and considered how he elevated them in the ranking consideration. Not everyone will agree with the results, but as we learn running through these, it's hard to make an argument against any of the 10 included below. 10. Cape Fear, 1991 Anyone who has seen a Robert De Niro mob movie knows the actor can play a bad man, though it's rare we've seen him play a man as deranged as Cape Fear's Max Cady. Cady is a violent rapist out for revenge against his lawyer, who hid evidence in Cady's prior conviction that would reduce his sentence. Armed with the knowledge of the law and insatiable bloodlust, Cady then makes moves to destroy his lawyer's life. 9. Heat, 1995 Robert De Niro portrays real-life criminal Neil Macaulay in Heat, who is engaged in a cat-and-mouse game of sorts with Al Pacino's Vincent Hanna. It was not the first time the two appeared in the same film, but due to the nature of their scenes in The Godfather, Part 2, it would be the first time they appeared together in the same scenes. 8. The Untouchables, 1987 In The Untouchables, Robert De Niro plays one of the biggest real-life mobsters of all time in a star-studded affair. Kevin Costner leads, but in some ways trailed behind De Niro, as Elliot Ness in his effort to bring down the great Al Capone during Prohibition. Robert De Niro still managed to stick out in such a star-studded affair, although didn't snag an Oscar for his performance like Scene Connery did. It's kind of surprising considering how much De Niro's performance influences this film, especially when considering Bob Hoskins was the second option to play Al Capone. 7. The King of Comedy, 1982 a superfan of a television host gets a little too comfy in this Robert De Niro movie as he plays wannabe celebrity-turned-stalker Rupert Pupkin. That's about all one really needs to know heading into this movie, as it's one of those that's great to experience fresh for those who haven't seen it yet. Plus Joker, which De Niro reportedly loved the script for, is out this year, and it seems like parts of that movie are inspired by the king of comedy. Robert De Niro's commitment to role accuracy really served him well, even if he did put himself at risk doing so. De Niro actually followed around some of his own superfans and even had a conversation with one of his longtime stalkers to get in the right headspace for the role. Could he have pulled it off without going to such lengths? I'd like to think so, but knowing he did that only elevates this performance that much more. 6. Casino, 1995 a sports handicapper hits the jackpot in Casino and is sent to Las Vegas to run, you guessed it, a casino owned by the Mafia. The task gives and takes a lot from Robert De Niro's Sam Ace Rothstein, and we see him go through a lot of big things in this just short three-hour Martin Scorsese mob film. Though some critics would liken it to the lesser mob film when compared to the stylistically similar Goodfellas, even a lesser Scorsese or De Niro mob collaboration makes for a pretty fantastic movie. 5. The Deer Hunter, 1978 There are plenty of great films that chronicle the intensity and aftermath of the Vietnam War, and The Deer Hunter is among the best. We see Robert De Niro's Mike and Friends in America pre-war and their normal lives, and then are taken on a wild ride that is both terrifying and tragic. What makes this such a powerful Robert De Niro movie, in my opinion, is how much it feels like we're watching a real person. It creates a feeling that sticks with a viewer long after, which is undoubtedly why it got the Academy Award for Best Picture. Even if some scenes were deemed inaccurate by war experts, this emotional depiction of Vietnam shows the true terrors of warfare and its impact on those who served our country. 4. The Godfather, Part I of 1974 of course, The Godfather. 
Heart Aya is going to make this list. It's probably one of the first titles one thinks of when thinking of Robert De Niro's movies, and it's recognized as one of the American Film Institute's best and most influential in several categories. De Niro plays a young Vito Corleone in his part of the story, which shows his rise to power in the Mafia. Reception to the movie was initially mixed, but with time, many have accepted The Godfather. Part I to be one of the greatest movies of all time. 3. Taxi Driver 1976 Heads up, we've officially reached that point where every entry from here on out is a Martin Scorsese and Robert De Niro masterpiece. Taxi Driver is unquestionably one of the duo's best as Travis Pickle goes from dangerous and slightly unhinged working class man to bona fide hero. Audiences have referred to Bickle as an anti hero. But is it more accurate to say he's a bad dude who just got incredibly lucky? Does it matter? 2. Goodfellas, 1990. Goodfellas is arguably the best mob movie of all time. We haven't seen The Irishman yet and one of the best performances of Robert De Niro. It's kind of hilarious considering Ray Liotta's Henry is the actual protagonist. But as this list has shown, De Niro tends to be fantastic regardless of whether he's the star or supporting actor. Here, he plays mobster Jimmy, who essentially shows Henry the ropes of mob life. 1. Raging Bull, 1980 Of all the Robert De Niro movies out there, Raging Bull is one of his most powerful performances of all time. His portrayal of the former boxer-turned-stand-up comedian Jake LaMotta is a stunning portrait of a guy you love to hate. You pity, sympathize, and hate him all at once. It's the perfect mesh of Robert De Niro's villainous roles and his psychopathic roles. To be fair, he's more or less playing the actual Jake LaMotta, but he does so in such a raw fashion that it's phenomenal. It's no surprise he won an Oscar for this role, and that Raging Bull remains one of De Niro's best works to this day. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go.